Hey guys, uh, this story is called The Nothing Something. The Nothing Something. Captain Hanson Gregory was in command of his own vessel at the age of 19. He's one of the youngest sea captains ever to sail from the coast of Maine. For saving the lives of an entire shipwrecked Spanish crew, Captain Gregory, still 19, was decorated by Spain's Queen Isabella. But that's not why Hanson Gregory is remembered. We know him because he invented absolutely nothing. Confusing? Here's the rest of the story. For two decades after the death of Captain Hanson Gregory, a furious debate sponsored by a national organization was held at New York's Astor Hotel. It was late in November 1941. The judges were Clifton Fadiman, Franklin P. Adams, Elsa Maxwell. The leaders of the opposing sides were Fred E. Crockett of Camden, Maine, and attorney Henry A. Ellis of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The heated discussion revolved around whether Captain Gregory had indeed invented nothing. Lawyer Ellis maintained he had not. Lawyer Henry Ellis claimed that it was, in fact, an American Indian from Yarmouth who invented nothing during the 17th century. Despite Mr. Ellis' splendid courtroom tactics, there were many inherent weaknesses in his case, among them the difficulty to prove anything three centuries past. On the other hand, Mr. Crockett, seeking to prove that Captain Hanson Gregory had invented nothing in 1847, presented for examination an array of affidavits, letters, and other documents. And in the course of the debate, the story of Hanson Gregory's life unfolded. Hanson was born in Clam Cove, Maine, in a charming colonial home overlooking Penobscot Bay. At 19, Hanson assumed command of his own ship, which made him one of the youngest sea captains ever to sail from the coast of Maine. In that same year, he became an internationally acclaimed hero. Apparently, he had rescued a crew of Spanish sailors from a sinking ship, and his daring on that occasion merited a Medal of Bravery personally awarded by Queen Isabella. Yet it was not for his bravery that Captain Gregory was discussed in 1941. It was for an invention which comprised nothing more than thin air. Debater Fred Crockett, attempting to ascertain the circumstances of this invention, acknowledged the blurring of much folklore with truth. Hanson Gregory had not, as some said, invented nothing by accident during a storm at sea. He had invented it on purpose as a boy of 15 in his mother's kitchen. Mr. Crockett's evidence was sufficiently persuasive to win a unanimous decision from the debate judges. Today, almost 40 years later, the Smithsonian Institution confirms that nothing was invented just the way Fred E. Crockett said it was. Each year in the United States alone, the business which began on a little New England stove grosses an estimated $750 million. It all started with Hanson Gregory, who noticed that his mother's, fry, his mother's fried cakes were soggy at the center. The youngster picked up a fork and poked it through the middle of one of the cakes and invented, and invented the something which for, forevermore would comprise absolutely nothing, the hole in the donut. <laughs> and that's the rest of the story. Love you guys. Bye.